Hey, what's up guys, Roxhall here. Have you ever looked at the dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures in Ark and wondered, did they actually look and behave like that in real life? As the number one dinosaur fan in the world, I know I sure have. So today I'm going to be answering this question by looking at all the dinos in Ark individually and comparing them to their real life counterparts. This video in particular will be focusing on the theropods. We'll start out with the smallest theropod in the game, the Compi, and go up in size from there. One quick note before we begin, paleontology is a very controversial subject, because as you can probably guess, trying to figure out how animals lived using just a pile of bones is pretty damn difficult. I'm also not a paleontologist myself, I'm just a goofy YouTuber boy who used the internet to find what seemed like the most agreed upon info among paleontologists. If you feel like I got something wrong, you can of course leave a comment. I always try my best to read and reply to all comments I can. Now, back to the video. I would say the Compies in Ark look pretty much the same as their real-life counterparts, the Compsogonathus. The only thing that stands out as different is the weird feathers that got added to the Ark version. Some believe the Compsogonathus may have had feathers, but I doubt they would have been sticking out like this. The size can also be considered relatively accurate, with IRL combis being around the size of a chicken. The combis' behavior in Ark is seen as sort of a pack hunter, with combis that are alone not being able to do any damage to the player. But as soon as another one shows up, they start biting on your little toesies. In reality though, there's no definitive proof that combis hunted in packs. They may have just been solitary rushdown hunters. The Microraptor is another one of Ark's smaller theropods, and it's also an annoying piece of shit and it's also seen to be pretty much completely covered in feathers. I'd say this representation is fairly accurate, with the only thing standing out to me being the one in Ark has this weird crest on its head that the IRL version definitely doesn't have. The Microraptor's behavior in Ark is seen to be located mostly on the ground. However, it has the ability to straight up fly and stun the player off their tame. IRL Microraptors most likely lived in the trees, using their winds to glide and or parachute down to its prey. The Archaeopteryx in Ark looks very similar to the Microraptor being completely covered in feathers and big wings. This holds up in real life too, with the two dinos also looking very similar. One key difference though is that the Microraptor had wings on its hind legs, while the Archaeopteryx didn't. This difference is also seen in game. Its behavior in game though is very odd, as it just flies vertically up and down the redwood trees. However, their behavior was more likely similar to that of the Microraptor, using low hanging trees to pounce on prey. Though it probably didn't have as much maneuverability in the air as the Microraptor, due to it not having the wings on the hind legs. Next up we have the Trudon. Before I talk about its looks, I want to speak a bit about the genus Trudon in real life, as it seems to be a very confusing and controversial subject I should probably address. So the first evidence of a Trudon was a tooth discovered in North America all the way back in 1856. This was one of the first dinosaurs ever discovered, so Joseph Leedy just put it under the genus Trudon. However, nowadays naming a whole genus with just a tooth is no longer considered a valid way to do it. Recent research also suggests that its speculated fossils actually belong to other dinosaurs, those being however you say those f***ing names. So just so you all know, I'm going to compare the one in Ark to the Steno, since the one in Ark seems to look the most similar to it. The Trudon in Ark is another fairly small dino that is pretty covered in feathers. It also has glowing eyes when it's active at night. While of course the glowing eyes feature wasn't realistic, the Trudon's size and the fact that it had feathers holds up for real life. For its abilities, it is seen in game to be a nocturnal creature with a poisonous venom that can knock you and your creatures out. This is probably mostly inaccurate, but it could at least maybe be said that it hunted at night, because its eyesight was thought to be pretty good. The actual believed behavior of the Trudon, though, was probably based around its high intelligence, as it is thought to have one of the highest out of any dinosaur. The Oviraptor in Ark is a very odd looking theropod with a crest on its head, a beak, and what seems to be spines along its back. The Oviraptor in real life did have the crest and beak, but the spines along the back are pretty unlikely. Another key difference is that the real life one was probably covered in feathers, while the Ark one seems to have none. Its behavior in Ark is completely based around stealing other dinosaur eggs. However, this is mostly inaccurate to its actual behavior. Even though its name does literally mean egg thief, this is most likely a huge misconception. This is because the eggs the first specimen was found by were most likely eggs it laid itself, rather than some other dino's eggs. It is thought to have instead used its toothless beak to crack open mollusks and the crustaceans to feast upon. The Dilophosaurus in Ark is honestly a far cry in a lot of ways compared to its real life counterpart. Its appearance in game is seen as fairly small with these fur like appendages that stick out for intimidation, similar to the frilled neck lizard of today. The Dilophosaurus was actually much bigger, and the frill is non existent on the real life version. The only thing that seems to be right is the crest on its head, which was thought to be used for simply display purposes. For its behavior and abilities, it is seen in game to spit out a venomous projectile that blinds and slows the player, then it slowly pursues the target it spat on. Of course, no such venomous projectile is thought to be on the Dilophosaurus, with it rather being considered a pursuit hunter having actually a high speed for a dinosaur. It is also thought that it could have even hunted in packs. 
Before I talk about the raptor's appearance, I should mention that there's no actual dinosaur just called raptor. According to the dossier in game, it's actually claimed to be a Utah raptor, which I agree would be the most accurate comparison. They are around the same size, with the raptor and Ark just being a tad bigger. They also both have the iconic sickle claw that was used to rip apart its prey. A noticeable difference between these two, however, is that the real life counterpart was most likely completely covered in feathers due to being a dromaeosaur. The Ark one only has a couple on its body. Raptors and Ark are seen as intelligent pack hunters with the ability to pounce on small or prey. The Utah Raptor has some evidence that may have been a pack hunter with possible high intelligence, but none of it is guaranteed. Also, the pounce seems unlikely, as the Utah Raptor was probably just too heavy to do any sort of pounce attack. The Baryonyx in Ark is a mid-sized bipedal dino that has a thin but long set of jaws and teeth. It also has some decent sized forelimbs and small smines along its back. In real life, they are roughly the same size as the Baryon Ark, maybe even bigger. Additionally, the spines it has in game were most likely non-existent on the real version. A Baryonyx's behavior in Ark is also very interesting, as it's one of the few dinosaurs that is a piscivore, only eats fish. They also have a spinning underwater attack ability, and are able to fully breathe underwater. Now the Baryonyx in real life was definitely not this aquatically adapted. Most paleontologists agree that it was more terrestrial than anything. It wasn't strictly a Piscivore. Baryonyx honestly had some impressive abilities to deal with dinos on land like their huge claws, but still were probably really good at catching fish too, most likely living a bank lifestyle similar to its relatives in the Spinosauridae genus. The Gallimimus is seen as a very long-necked dino with these big feathers that stick out the back of its head. In real life, the neck is realistic, but the feathers did not stick out like this, probably. They instead most likely covered their whole body. Another key difference is that the real-life version had a beak for a mouth, instead of the normal-looking one seen in-game. The Gallimimus is the first theropod on this list that is seen as strictly a herbivore in-game. However, in real life, it was more likely an omnivore. Another one of its key features in-game is its crazy fast run speed. Some paleontologists say the Gallimimus could have run faster than a cheetah. However, I think the more agreed upon speed is around 30 miles per hour, which I should say is still pretty dang fast. The Megalosaurus in Ark is seen as a decently sized theropod dino with what seems like a patch of fur going along its back, all the way to its tail. No proof of such fur is on the dino, but everything else including the size I suppose can be seen as fairly accurate. Its behavior in Ark is a different story though, with it being almost completely nocturnal and spending most of its time in caves. IRL these guys were more likely behaving like most big carnivorous theropods at the time, using their incredible power alone to take down the herbivorous giants. Despite it being a little upscaled, Mr. Funny Arms Carnotaurus in Ark is a fairly accurate depiction appearance-wise to be honest. With the goofy arms and the iconic horns on its head, I think it checks out. Its main ability in Ark is being able to bleed its foes using the horns as its main attack. It's not exactly known in real life what these were used for, however, it seems more likely to me that these were used for ramming rivals for mating rights slash display purposes, rather than direct combat usage, similar to the modern day bull. The Therizinosaur in Ark is another fairly big creature seen to be almost completely covered in feathers. It also has huge claws and a big beak covered in teeth. Its real life counterpart is thought to have had almost all these features, however its beak and overall head size was smaller. It's also not known for sure if the Therizino was completely covered in feathers, or just had it on small patches on its body. Similar to how it is in game, this creature was one of the few strictly herbivorous theropods, using its powerful claws for foraging, and as a powerful defense tool. These claws were so powerful in fact, it probably could have taken on the biggest predators at the time like the T-Rex, which it can pretty much do in Ark. The Gigantoraptor in Ark is a fairly big omnivorous theropod with feathers covering the majority of its body. This feature was probably accurate, but its size is of course a bit upscale compared to the real life version. Also this feathered crest on its head was probably non-existent on the real life version, and these weird antenna feathers probably weren't on the creature either. The Gigantoraptor's behavior in Ark is almost completely based around raising babies from other dino species. This part is of course inaccurate, but what could be considered accurate is the whole protecting of the nest thing they do in the wild. This is thought to actually be the behavior of the Gigantoraptor, as a lot of specimens were found near nests. The general behavior of the Gigantoraptor was probably more similar to that of the Oviraptor discussed earlier, since these guys are part of the same genus, Oviraptorsaur. The Allosaurus in Ark is seen as a fairly large dino with horns and what looks like armored plates on its back. In real life, however, they are a tad smaller with no such armor. 
They did have the short crest-like horns on their heads, though. These are thought to be just used for attracting mates and or recognizing members of its own species rather than anything combat-related. In terms of their behavior, in Ark they are often seen in the wild hunting in packs of three, with the pack leader having a bleed ability. At first, in real life, it was thought that owls may have hunted in packs. However, more modern evidence suggests they were more likely just solitary hunters, like most theropods. For the bleed ability, I would say it's not super far-fetched, as owls did have the ability to open their jaws super wide. It's also thought to have had power powerful neck muscles and sacrifice for weaker jaw strength. This means they could have used their upper jaw like a hatchet, driving into its prey using its powerful neck muscles, similar to the bleed bite animation seen in game. The Uteranus in Ark is a super feathery bipedal dino with a distinct nasal crest appendage. Besides its size, this is probably one of the more accurate depictions in terms of appearance. This is because the Uteranus is one of the few dinosaurs known to actually have feathers. Similar to the Therizino, it's not known if it was completely covered in feathers, but it seems more likely. The feathers were most likely used to regulate temperature, so its spawning only in the cold biomes in the game is not completely off. Its behavior in game is shown to have a very loud and distinguished roar that can scare away foes or boost allies. In reality, all the Uteranus, and dinosaurs in general, weren't able to create such roars at all. They were more likely to make a coo noise and or hisses or growls. However, it is considered possible that the Uteranus was somewhat social, and maybe even a pack hunter due to it being extremely common in its habitat. You wouldn't see it teaming up with Carnos like it does in game, but maybe members of its own species. Now onto the good old Rex, probably the most popular dinosaur to exist due to films like Jurassic Park. An arc is seen to be completely covered in scales with the good old stubby arms in the front, and above that, a huge set of jaws and teeth. I would honestly say this common depiction of the Tyrannosaurus isn't awful. The main things that stand out to me are that its size is a bit too big, and those weird armor plate things on its body are unrealistic too, of course. For behavior, the Rex is seen in game as a slow but powerful chase hunter. It is realistic that the Tyrannosaurus was slow, but it probably never went on long chases to catch its prey. It was more likely an ambush hunter, using the most powerful bite of any creature to exist to instantly kill targets. However, if it missed, a lot of things could just outrun it, so it would give up chase fast. The Spinosaurus in Arc is seen as a dino that has a very distinct sail on its back. It has a tail with spines on it, along with the rest of its body. The spiny tail and overall spiny body is inaccurate. The spines just didn't exist on the animal, and most paleontologists agree that its tail is most likely rather fin-like, specialized for swimming. Its size is also of course a bit upscaled, and the sail on its back was a bit more wavy rather than being a perfect crescent like seen in game. The Spino's main ability is to switch between going bipedal and quadrupedal. Now, in real life, the quadrupedal versus bipedal argument still goes on to this day for the Spino, so it's honestly a fair assumption of the Arc does to just go with both. <laughs> Another one of its abilities is getting a boost of damage and resistance when near water. While not getting these boosts in particular, it most definitely lived as pretty semi aquatic lifestyle, having abilities adapted for it. Now we have the iconic Giganotosaurus in Ark. Of course, as you can probably guess, its size in Ark is very exaggerated. Its actual size is probably more comparable to the T-Rex. Everything else in terms of appearance could be considered accurate enough, I suppose. For abilities, the Giga has one of the most damaging bites in the game which, if you've been watching this video, you know is inaccurate. That title belongs to the T-Rex. The Giga in Ark also has a bleed ability in the wild, which I think could be considered fairly accurate. Its hunting strategy was most likely a bite and slice technique. This is because the lower jaws of the Giga were adapted for the strategy, so I guess this could be considered a bleed ability. The Carcodonosaurus' size problem is pretty much the exact same as the Giga in the Ark, with it being very exaggerated, in reality being more comparable to the T-Rex. It also has very distinct spines on its body in game. Online I get very mixed reports of if this dino had spines along its head and back, but I'm guessing if it did have spines, they probably weren't as prevalent and pronounced as the Carcha's spikes in Ark. Its abilities in Ark are quite varied and mostly inaccurate to real life as you could probably guess. The one that is quite accurate though that I wanted to mention is its super fast run speed. This in real life actually has some evidence to back it up with the very muscular and long legs it has. The estimated speeds the sound could reach are up to 20 miles per hour. I should add though, however, that this doesn't seem to be universally agreed upon, and some say it was actually even slower than the T-Rex. There we go, that's all the theropod dinos I wanted to go over for this video. If you want to see videos on the other creatures like the flyers, aquatic species, sauropods, and mammals, just leave a like and let me know in the comments below. Other than that, that's all I have for today. So thank you all for the support as always, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Rock skull, rock skull. All I want to do is stream all night. Lobby full, rock skull. Never gonna play with me, but it's alright.